Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Just picked this up today. It is the Empire Strikes Back Deluxe Set for Dagobah Luke with Yoda. Um, and really looking forward to this. I've seen some people do some absolutely incredible photography on Instagram and around the internet. Um, and I'm really looking forward to cracking this open and getting a look at this new scaled Yoda firsthand. Um, I didn't know <laughs> that the previous incarnation of Yoda was too big. Um, and now this one looks a little bit funny to me in the box. But um, as I said, the sculpt, the face looks fantastic. I'm uh, looking forward to getting it out and having a look. So uh, tune in with me and we'll take a look at this pack out of the box. All right, here we have the figures out of the packet. And can I just say first impressions? Uh, I am absolutely blown away by this pack. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, the Luke looks great. The Yoda looks great. Um, my expectations on the Yoda weren't high um, because they did change the scale. I didn't realize how much it actually mattered um, until holding this thing in my hands and having him actually standing next to Luke. Um, it all makes sense why they've decided to rescale Yoda for this set. Um, and we have here the definitive version of Yoda going forward. Um, <laughs> this is just absolutely brilliant. Get try and get a nice close up of his head sculpt, which is just that is Yoda. This is perfect. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, now, if I get the archive Yoda that was only updated not long ago, still a great Yoda. But boy, have they really captured that look on the new one. There's just apples and oranges there. That's just really, really good. And you can sort of just stand them together. You can sort of see the difference in height between the two. So I will move him back out of the way. Now, brilliantly, they have given him a second head sculpt, which is equally as incredible. So we can get to focus on there. So we can have him lifting the uh, X-Wing out of the swamp. Having him doing some meditation. All those good things that Yoda does. It's just a fantastic little figure. I'm just going to move Luke because he want, the camera wants to focus on him as well. You can't have everything at once. So yeah, as far as I can tell, this is all new sculpt uh, for Yoda. They may have reused the feet. Uh, even the hands are different. than they're, they're new. Um, he has a new cane, which is naturally a little bit smaller. It probably feels a little bit too thin still, so I may even get my old one and chop that down just so it is, you know, the same length. It's just a little bit thicker. He's going to be less prone to dropping it. Um, he does have his little... I can never remember what this thing is. I say it's his little Yoda harmonica, but it's not. He's got his little belt. He's such, such a diminutive little figure. Um, and yet, he still has ball hinged hips and knee joints and ankle joints they've just rocked it Hasbro is absolutely rocking this figure I really really like it a lot I'm still a little bit torn on this fabric no no pun intended um, it just it just frays a little bit too much um, but I may just I may take it off him uh, use a cigarette lighter carefully and just sort of hover it around the ends just to sort of, um, I say cauterize, it's not really the right word, uh, just to melt down those sort of frayed edges um, and maybe even just wear it out a little bit, make it give it a little bit of extra detail. But yeah, this Yoda is absolutely fantastic. A little bit of extra plastic gone into the bit of big back of that um, necklace joint there, so I will have to slice that off carefully, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to just see how easy this head is to swap. Now that's really easy. A nice thick peg there in the neck. 
That's a nice snug fit there. Yeah, oh, that, that looks so good. I'm really, really impressed with this set. Put that one back on so we can get him ready for the backpack. Alright, so before that, we'll, we'll just get a look at this backpack quickly. Um, and afterwards, we'll look at Luke, and then we'll get him wearing this and strapping Yoda in for some piggybacks. Looks pretty nice. It's a nice fit. I initially thought they'd just remolded Yoda just so he would fit in this in this bag, but that scale is just absolutely brilliant. All right, so well, what I've worked out is there's basically just a peg hole. Uh, that means you can just slot over Luke's arm and shoulder. So we'll do that as soon as we've had a look at Luke. Had a look at Luke. All right, now I'm just going to bring the camera up. There we go. That is a remarkable looking head sculpt. And paint apps look fantastic. That's just so good. And it comes with his blaster pistol and his lightsaber a nice vibrant thick blue blade they seem to be going with these thicker joints every couple of years they seem to just find the nice balance between what looks good and what feels good um, this feels a lot stronger than others uh, we've had some pretty weak pegs on the lightsabers over the years so it looks like they've finally, finally hit the nail there. Um, now just in terms of the aesthetic of this figure, it looks fantastic. The way they've hidden the joints now. Um, you know, there's no glaring peg holes um, in the legs. There's none in the arms. Um, they're all using those seamless joints. They look good. Um, if we just sort of flex the arms. Looks good all over. They've always done a really good job of hiding, hiding the joints into the pants. But now, especially without those pegs, um, those pins in either side of the, the knees, it's so good. And we still get really good movement. You wouldn't need any more than that, I don't think. Because that's, uh, that's still good movement. Same with the elbows. Really good angle of movement there. Which is what you'd probably close to get on a double joint anyway. Um, and of course the hidden butterfly joints in there as well. And Luke's shaved armpits. The weathering on his gear is fantastic. And my lights could be a little bright here. I might just turn it down quickly. No, that's as low as we're getting. <laughs> um, hopefully it's just my camera screen here that's picking up a little bit of extra glare. So it looks like he's really been sort of running around Dagobah, getting dirty. Just the head sculpt on the hair is fantastic. Looks messy, looks sweaty, looks dirty. It's a really good looking look. They're almost done all the Lukes now. <laughs> we just need the uh, back to tank, nappy wearing, diaper wearing Luke. Diapers, we call them nappies here in Australia. But yeah, really good Luke figure. Now he also comes with interchangeable hands. So we've got sort of lifting the X Wing out hand. And a handstand hand or force push, but it's molded pretty flat. And I have seen people able to pull off a one handed handstand with this figure, so I'm not going to do it on camera because it will take too long. Now, if we could have got a Luke with closed hands, that would have been epic. That being said, I'm just going to leave those hands in there and we're going to put this backpack on. So we'll just slip 
one arm through there, his thumb's getting caught. Try and get it gently over the head. I could be doing this all wrong. <laughs> There we go. See if we can get that pegged in the back. It's a little fiddly. It's okay, just put a finger inside the backpack. All right, I'm not gonna to be too fussy with that. I'm just gonna save some time. So that sits well on the figure. If I can get that pegged in, it'll look even better. Um, but yeah, time restraints, I'm not gonna do that. Now we're gonna sit Yoda in there. That is great. <laughs> that is so cool. That is amazing, I love that so much. Oh, that is so good. I'm really, really impressed with this set. Um, if you can't tell, <laughs> go, and grow, go and buy this set. Seriously, this is amazing. I love this set so much. I'm going to have so much time playing with this and taking photos and stuff. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it with you. I'll, I'll let go for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.